Hey everyone, it's Courageous and I'm here with the second paycheck of October 2021 and Lord, 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 I just have to say, <laughs> I had to make a lot of changes. I had to rearrange some things because the IRS is playing with my money and oh, I don't even have anything on my hands. I'll be back. Okay, much better. So, like I was saying, the IRS is playing with my money. Um, I had budgeted for the child tax credit because it's the 15th and I didn't get it. I go in to track in the, to track the status of it. It says pending review. Like it took you guys to give two months to give me the first payment. So did you not have enough time to review it then? Anyway, I had to rearrange some things. Um, so this was my estimated amount coming in, right? Salary, uh, that came through 1589 to 69. The child tax credit was supposed to be 375 because that's what I got last month. And I figured they were just trying to catch up because they, I didn't get July or August, but I did get 375 in September. Didn't get that as you'll see zero. Um, I do have child support here but it comes on the 19th and all of the bills that are due as you can see are due before the 19th so i'm like why am i even going to put it here if it's not even going to factor in so i did move it to the next pay period now luckily luckily i was able to move some things around as you can see no sinking funds because <laughs> with what money with what money uh rollover i had some money left over 46.99 um, you'll see my mom is on here again, because if you saw my little short that I made, I cannot have money in my bank account because I go swipe, swipe, swipe. Uh, so, um, if you recall my first paycheck of October, I had my mom down for a thousand dollars and I even put it in my handy dandy debt envelope. Just at what I put the, I put the placeholder in there now lesson learned i should have just put the money in there so it would have just been in there away you know out of sight out of mind out of the shopping centers right <laughs> but um if you want to see what i actually spent the thousand oh i didn't spend the whole thousand dollars well i did technically because i only have 46 dollars left <laughs> thank you um so you can go check that little short on um on my page but it was just basically um, the vet, I had, and t I, I had unexpected expense at the vet, ended up buying something for my house, for my apartment. Uh, and then I ended up buying some, some beauty products. <laughs> so yeah, um, no more money in the bank account. So today my mom is back on here. So, um, I already sent that money in. <laughs> I already sent it. <laughs> Uh, as you know, my mom is in the Dominican Republic, so I sent that through Western Union like that. As soon as I like woke up, did what I had to do, went into my bank account, sent it. So um, this the placeholder in my debt folder gets to stay there. Woohoo! Now um, I have two credit cards due. I'm not going to be able to make a larger payment than I anticipated because, uh, again, I had to rearrange some things. So I am making the minimum payment on two credit cards. My husband has to send money to his, my husband's also from Dominican Republic. So he has to send some money to his family. Um, so that's 608 that's going. Um, and I, what I did, I was smart. I did it like, again, because I don't keep money in the account. I just sent that directly to my husband's bank account. That's his problem now. <laughs> my husband's very good about, like he's better at money than I am. Um, I'm more of an impulsive spender. Um, my gym subscription is coming out on the 17th and then another credit card. I'm going to pay the minimum on the 18th. Well, I'm going to pay them all today, except so the only thing that will be there remaining will be the gym subscription, but that's just the due dates. So, uh, for cash envelopes, that's all we're going to have today. Groceries, we're going to stuff $60 gas we're gonna stuff forty dollars uh, and for fun we're gonna stuff a hundred dollars so it was my daughter's birthday yesterday yay she turned eight and uh we went to the buffet she wanted to go to the buffet 
uh, to eat and we went there so and tomorrow we're going pumpkin picking and on a hayride and all of that good stuff so I uh, we're stuffing a hundred dollars for that and like I said no sinking funds this time but next time we will so let's get to the stuffing oh i didn't okay so to complete the money that i needed for today i had to go into my emergency fund because these expenses are non-negotiable because it's like yeah my mom was in a rush for the debt but now she kind of is so i had to you know i have to make sure i sent that to her today because she needs it and then my husband's fund you know my husband's family needs that money as well so um, I had to dip into the sinking fund. So we took $300 from the sinking fund uh, for the emergency fund. So we will um, unstuff the $1,000 placeholder I have there and stuff $100 placeholders to make up for it. All right, so let's get to the stuffing. But before I do, well, I wonder, okay. So I wanted to do the Oracle card early just because I'm just like, I just need that. I just need it today. So we're going to do it today before we stuff. So let's get our message. All right. So this is the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lim. It's my favorite Oracle deck. I modified it by just trimming the borders and just leaving this border with the, the keyword there. And I, I just love it so much. This is my favorite. Oh, and we got one quickly. Gateway. All right. So a lot of us are in in transition we're going we're crossing from one uh from one door to another well not, we're not crossing from one door to another we're crossing from one place to another uh so this could be that we are in a state of transition a lot of us as you can see might be this unicorn in the process right in the in the process of crossing so we're still half half where we were and half where we where we where we're going to be right but some of us might be hesitating to cross to that path and if you were hesitating to transition into whatever area of your life you were thinking of transition because this message is for all of us right who are watching this video uh this is your sign that you need to you need to cross over you need to transition into that next phase into that next stage so just to tie this into the budgeting community so <laughs> for those of you watching all of these cash budgeting videos you know cash envelope videos and ha who haven't decided to start your cash budgeting and cash stuffing journey this is your calling card to do so right um some of you may be transitioning from renting to owning some of you may be transitioning from um owning to renting right uh some of you may be transitioning into a different job or a different area or, or a different career um and this is this is the card telling you that yeah if you were thinking about it do it if you are in the process of doing it don't worry because obviously we get those jitters we get worried when you know um we're, we're transitioning from from one phase to another that's perfectly normal but uh this is the this is the card that's telling you it's going to be fine um and if you're thinking of doing it definitely do it um as you can see it's a unicorn i just love i love the i love the imagery on the card um it's you know we have the the natural landscape and you see that unicorn is facing the sun so obviously that's that's that 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 sun that sunlight is 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 illuminating the path that the, that the unicorn is going towards and that's a good thing right if, you, if it was going to darkness it's not necessarily bad going into darkness but that might be um a little shadow work that's necessary or it might be a little uh darker period a period of of trials but this unicorn is transitioning the passing the gateway into the sunlight which is always good so that is your message make of it what you will um this is a it's just a beautiful deck this is my favorite oracle deck all right so let's get to the cash stuffing uh doo -doo 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 -doo. oops all right so we have oh, let me i love how i put my binder away when i actually need it i know i'm not stuffing that much but i still need to know what i'm doing all right so we have Oh, um, we have more than $200 here because it was, like I said, it was my daughter's birthday yesterday and my sister sent her $50. Um, she sent $50 to my Zelle, but since I went straight to the ATM, I need to make change to give, I, I took out 60 for her. Um, so I need to make change to give her 10. So I'll put the 60 over here. So this... 19 that I'm supposed to have left over is really nine because I have to put 10 back. All right, so 
for us, we have, you know, for the, the cash envelopes, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 50, 60, 80, 200. So we have $200. And for my emergency fund, sinking fund envelope, I have these $100 placeholders since we have to take out the thousand dollar placeholder i put these little stickers on it i was just, at first i thought whenever i saw videos and people had like stickers or decorations on their placeholders i thought it was just an aesthetic thing but no it's a necessary thing because these things these placeholders are so paper thin that it's hard to like maneuver but it's like now it's like oh look at me right <laughs> so um i had these little tarot stickers laying around so we're gonna use these for my sticky fund but first let's unstuff let's see if i have money left over let me tell you how <laughs> i literally when i got my nails done i was i i, I need i was like okay I, I need a cool design but i also don't want to spend all the money i want to have money left over so i'm like so eager to have money left over now um so let's see so gas we have some money left over nothing in groceries nothing well we didn't stuff groceries because we we did grocery um beauty has some left over because i was like literally <laughs> i was like i need to make sure i have money left so i i got a cheaper um a cheaper design um uh, pets has money left over and medical i did go to the doctor fun we spent it these didn't get stuff all right so put these away let's see how much money is left over so in pets we have five dollars guys <laughs> Beauty, we have five dollars. I will take it. So let me put that right there. And in gas, we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we have five dollars also. So we have fifteen dollars left. Yes. So we will put that after we stuff our cash envelopes we will put that in our sink our, our challenges so what are we stuffing today so we're stuffing gas groceries and fun we have fun and groceries so that's all we're stuffing today um i'm not doing that much thankfully see this is this is the way god works right because yes my my money situation didn't work out this paycheck, but I get paid again in five days. <laughs> so um, I, I, like I've said it before in my previous videos, but I am a college professor. I get paid by weekly uh, salary, right? So today I got, sal I got paid for salary, but if I teach extra courses, I get overload pay. So I get paid separate for those extra classes that I teach. So, um, uh, those extra classes are once a month that we get, I get paid from. So, um, and it's the third Wednesday of every month. So on um, this Wednesday, the 20th, I will get paid for those classes. So, you know, it's like, yeah, we have to take from our emergency fund, but we're going to put that right back on the 20th. Right. So that's good all the time. You know, he does it. All right. So for groceries, we are stuffing $60, 20, 40, 60. For gas, we're stuffing forty dollars. And forty dollars has been working out so well. Like you saw I have I had money left over and I went to New Jersey and back and then and then some, right? Then I had to be here in Rhode Island. So um and New Jersey and actually I had to like detour because I stopped on each way to New Jersey to I, I went into New York City to um, pick up my aunt for my nephew's party and then when I left I, I brought her back home so um, and then that was on Sunday and I didn't have you know I filled up before I, I went um, when I got back I had to fill I, you know I had to put some more gas and that has lasted me so um, I'm $40 seems to be doing well for gas um, Next for fun, we're stuffing 100. One, two, three, four, five. So we are done with the cash stuffing. Now let us go to our binders. So, oh, so I created a new envelope. So I just finished mentioning how I get overload pay, right? 
but that overload pay is only during the semester, right? So I started a new envelope to supplement that month, right? Because the semester ends in December and then it starts again in January, but I don't get paid my first overload paycheck until February of 2022. So I need to make sure I supplement my overload pay income. So I'm starting, I'm, I started this new envelope so that I can stuff to make up for that month, you know, that month that I'm, I'm not going to be getting overpaid. So basically this is to prepare for the month of January to cover what I'm not going to be getting because I'm just going to be getting salary the month of January. So we'll be stuffing this with overload pay um, in five days. Um, so here's the emergency fund. So I have the thousand dollar placeholder and that is going to come out because we took up three hundred dollars so we're going to put the seven hundred dollar placeholder so one two three four five six seven into the emergency fund and hopefully next week we can put that thousand dollar placeholder right back and some more you know all right so um now i need to find some change for my daughter, first of all. Um, but also, let's, well, she, I need $20. All right, let's stuff the challenges first, and then we'll figure this out. So, we have, I have my challenges back here. Oh, and, oh my God, so I have to thank everyone who has subscribed to my page. This community is so bomb. Like you are so welcoming. You are all just so like you like I just love the energy. I just love the energy of the budgeting community. Yes. Um, we're not doing that one. So I created a challenge to track my subscribers because I'm almost I'm almost halfway, I'm more than halfway to my first hundred subscribers. So I can't be I can't be any more grateful. Um so I decided to do a little challenge as well. And don't worry when I I am going to do a giveaway when I reach 100 because I have to thank y'all. I have to thank y'all. And my first 100, you know, I'm going to treat y'all. I'm going to treat y'all well, you know. So I'll give you I'm going to make I'm going to have a chat. I'm going to have a giveaway for my first 100. Um uh but I also created this just to kind of like let's make it fun. Let's make it let's make it interesting. So um, I did um it's a subscriber tracker, but I'm going to use it as a savings challenge. Right? Um so this is Basically, anyone who wants to track their subscribers and just kind of be like, hey, yeah, but I'm also going to add that extra layer because this is the budgeting community. So we're going to make this into a savings challenge. So I haven't decided the nominations yet, uh, the nominations, the denominations. So I'm thinking maybe three figures, uh, $20, uh, four figures, $50, uh, five figures, $100. Right, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So up to a thousand subscribers, it'll be twenty dollars each. So that'd be 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. So that'd be 180, right? And then from 1k to uh to 9k, it'll be 50. So that'll be uh one, two, wait, hold on. one, two, three, four. 50 so 450 plus 180 don't make me do math 450 plus 180 that is 630 and then 100 dollars for each of the five um of, of the five figures so um what did i say here six six wait one 450 plus 180 <laughs> 630 so 730 830 Nine thirty, one thousand thirty, eleven thirty, twelve thirty. So this could be, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so this could be a nice little challenge, right? So that adds up to, you know, one thousand two hundred and thirty dollars just for getting subscribers and just making videos, you know, like which is what I'm going to be doing to keep myself accountable for uh, in my budgeting journey. So I think, I think that's that's gonna work. That's what we're gonna do. So that's that. We'll start stuffing this challenge once we get a hundred dollars a hundred subscribers sorry uh the christmas challenge because my situation you know that i just explained we're gonna stuff two weeks of this on the 20th instead of stuffing i was gonna stuff 45 today and 45 on the 20th but we'll stuff both of them on the 20th um so let's see the 1k challenge how much money do we had 15 dollars left so we're not stuffing from the 1k challenge we already have 25 dollars in there though hey 
Um, so we have the save to the finish challenge. We have the treat yourself challenge, which I treated myself enough. I think we're going to skip this one. <laughs> um, we don't have $50 for the cast. I'm sorry for the cactus challenge. So we'll skip that. So basically we'll split between these two. So we have $15 to stuff and we will do, we can do, I want to, I kind of want to do 10 and five, just because I want to have something on the five and 10 challenge, you know? So let's get the binder. Let's get the binder. Oh, and it's perfect because I think we can make change. So we have, we'll put, this is the safe to the finish. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much we have. I only have $3 in here. Oh, yeah, we have three dollars, so we're not going to be able to make change, right? But how about if we do? All right, so what's in the one K? In the one K, we have a twenty and a five. Hmm, I really want to make change for my daughter. All right, we'll figure that out. So in the meantime, let's stuff. Right, how much do we have in here? So we we have three dollars. Yeah, three dollars because we each of these were at one dollar. So let's um we can do a ten or we can do two. Five. Oh, we have fifteen. We could just do fifteen. But I actually want to do. All right. See, I'm a Gemini. I get very indecisive sometimes. But we're gonna stuff. We're gonna stuff. Ten dollars in here. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, is color in two fives. Mm -hmm. Or oh, we could do a ten. Let's do. Let's just do a ten. So let's do a ten. And that brings us to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so that is going in here. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just like, I have to have money left over. And, and, and watch, I'm going to like push myself to have money left over. Even though we just stuffed only $200, I'm going to push myself to have money left over so I can come and stuff some more things. And then a 5 on the 5 and 10 challenge. Yeah, I'm just like I, something, something, you know. All right, so we'll put that in the five and ten. I just don't like. <laughs> my husband looks at the binder. He's like, "But they're mostly empty." I'm just like, "I'm just getting started." <laughs> but it's like, it's 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 a process. It's a process. Um, but yeah, so that is my paycheck, uh, my second paycheck of October video. Thank you for riding along with me on this crazy journey that is, um, you know, having to redo your budget <laughs> because your money didn't come through the way you wanted it to. Um, I really, I really, really, really want to find, I, I just want to, I want to find some change because I want to stuff the $10. Why not? Right. Um, it's already out of the bank. I still have $9 in there. I don't, so oh, I'm good. Um, I'll be back. all right. So today is Friday and my daughter gets her allowance today and I give her a $10 allowance. So what I'm going to do, because this is her money anyway, right? This is hers. I'm going to put the 20 in there and I'm going to give myself my 10 back. So five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right. So let's find some more to stop this. So where will we put this? Will we put it in the five and ten? We just put ten here. So um, I hate making decisions. All right. So we have a. Actually, we can do another five here, and then we'll do. I want to start getting rid of these, even though these ones, it's easier to have ones left over because, you know, than it is to have fives or twenties. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to do a five here. 
it's just like a one would take more place, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine ones left. But you know what? So we're going to do another five in the five and ten challenge, and we're going to do five in the save to the finish challenge. So we'll do this one right here. Uh, I should have done this in another color. It's okay. All right, so, and then another five. We'll do one all the way down here. All right, so let's stuff it. Let's stuff it. Let's make like a turkey. Let's pretend it's a turkey and stuff it. All right, so five and 10 challenge now has another five so that is ten dollars and then the race to the finish has another five dollars so that brings it to all right i want to count it again because i already forgot how many we have how much we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen woohoo and i'm like so happy I had, like, I'm just like, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching this. I'm like, all right. So that was my cash stuffing of October uh, 15th, my second paycheck of October. And I hope you have subscribed by now. If you haven't, please, please join us. Um, and thank you so much to all, everyone who has welcomed me into the budgeting community. I see you. I appreciate you. And yeah, I'll see you in a few days when I get my overload pay uh, for October. So this is courageous. Peace.